Welcome to the Stoth Ethics Awareness Program. The program was designed to help employees understand various aspects of organizational ethics. The modules are as follows. Module 1. What is ethics and why is it important? Module 2. Ethical challenges in organizations. Module 3. What is my role in ethics? Module 1. What is ethics and why is it important? The objective of this module is to introduce you to organizational ethics. At the end of the module, you'll be able to understand the key terms in organizational ethics and explain why ethics is important in organizations. Note, there will be a short assessment at the end of the module. Please give yourself at least 30 minutes to complete module one. Part one, what is ethics and why is it important? When you hear the words ethics or morality, what are the first things that you think of? You probably thought of words such as good and bad, right and wrong, values, justice, norms, standards, integrity, honesty, fairness, respect, accountability, transparency, laws, policies, for the greater good, and many more. These are all words that we know and sometimes use when we communicate in our work situations, and they all relate to ethics. We will now provide you with a basic and easy to remember definition of ethics. Ethics is concerned with that which is good for the self and for the other. As we can see from the triangle, the three concepts, good, self, and other, form the basis of a definition of ethics. The self could be an individual, a group, or an organization. So could the other be an individual, a group, or an organization. Should one only do what is good for oneself, one could disregard the other and be described as selfish, the opposite of being ethical. On the other hand, by only doing what is good for the other, one neglects oneself in decisions and actions. For those of you who thought ethics is only about doing what is good for others, in a kind of self-sacrifice, this should be good news. Ethics is also about considering what is good for oneself. There are two challenges inherent to this definition. The first challenge relates to defining what is good. And the second challenge lies in creating a sound balance between the interest of the self and the interest of the other. Regarding defining what is good, where do you get your sense of what is good from? Among others, your good could have been formed by your upbringing, your education, societal norms, rules, and laws, for some, religion, your peers and colleagues, and the organizations you have worked for. Since everyone's background is different, it should be clear that no two people could have exactly the same idea of what is good. Do not be too concerned about this. For the most part, human beings agree on what is good and right and just in life. The topics on which we differ are surprisingly few. Challenge two in the definition is about continually finding a sound balance between good for the self and good for the other. That is at the midpoint of the side of the triangle between the self and the other. Every relationship that exists between individuals groups and organizations have an ethical dimension. It becomes very difficult to balance all these relationships every day. It's like trying to balance the triangle on its point when it's turned upside down. We should never forget the golden rule. This is a principle that occurs in most religions, cultures, and communities. Do good to others as you expect others to do good to yourself.